A head-to-head clash between rolls, margaritas, and, of course, sweet, juicy steak. Time to choose sides as we dive into which is better, Longhorn Steakhouse or Texas Roadhouse. You will immediately start to notice a difference between Longhorn Steakhouse and Texas Roadhouse the moment you step inside. Over at Longhorn, guests are greeted by more sophisticated dark colors and sleek vibe. The cowboy aesthetic seems to strike a balance between casual dining and something that's a step above your typical chain. Texas Roadhouse, on the other hand, has a more rowdy, rustic vibe. From birthday guests riding on top of saddles, to country music playing, and the floor scattered with peanut shells, Texas Roadhouse may give off more lively party vibes than candlelit romantic vibes. This may come down to your personal preference. If you're looking for a more quiet atmosphere, then Longhorn may be the right choice. But if you're looking for a fun family outing, or you prefer a more lively atmosphere, then Texas Roadhouse may be more up your alley. The complimentary bread you receive before your meal arrives plays an important role in steakhouses. Rather than just serve ordinary bread, both chains have committed to serving rolls that have a cult following in their own right. In fact, in a ranking of Texas Roadhouse's menu items, we put their rolls right at the top as the number one item to eat there, thanks in large part to their accompanying cinnamon butter. Insider also mentions that the rolls served at Texas Roadhouse are legendary with fans. Over at Longhorn Steakhouse, its dinner rolls are also adored by fans with copycat recipes highly sought after. The I'm Hungry For That blog mentions how the urge to recreate the rolls from Longhorn came the moment they tried them at the restaurant. They've got the best bread. And it's always warm, so the butter melts perfectly. And no matter what, it's always good and it's always hot. And always, always hot. hot. Atmosphere and dinner rolls are one thing, but when it comes to steakhouses, if you cannot serve up a decent cut of beef, then it's game over. Thankfully, both Longhorn Steakhouse and Texas Roadhouse offer a variety of steaks, so you should be able to find a cut that you enjoy. All of the usual suspects appear on both menus, including filet steaks, ribeyes, and sirloins. The sizes of the two chain steaks are similar as well, with both restaurants offering 20-ounce ribeyes, as well as the option of ordering your filet steak at 6 or 9 ounces at Longhorn, and choosing between 6 or 8 ounces at Texas Roadhouse. Both restaurants also serve ribs, though the ones at Texas Roadhouse have been known to disappoint. So when it comes to the kinds of steaks you can order, both restaurants are on relatively even footing. But the steaks actually arriving at your table is when customers seem to notice a big difference. Longhorn Steakhouse ranks pretty high on the list of current national steakhouse chains, largely due to the fact that, above all, it cooks a pretty darn good steak. That may be due to the fact that it does not use frozen steaks, and it may also be partially because it allows its cooks to aspire to the title of steak master. Our number one competitive advantage is grilling expertise. Perfectly grilling steaks is what we do. No matter what the tactics are, customers seem to be in agreement that the steaks served at Longhorn are worth the trip. Across the board, the cuts of steaks are elevated by Longhorn's seasoning blend. Flo's filet, especially when paired with a lobster tail, is among one of the best things you can order off of the menu, and the T-bone, ribeye, and ribs also rank in our top 10 list. Ultimately, what brings customers back to a steakhouse will likely be its steaks, and fans are quick to praise the quality of Longhorns time and time again. There are many loyal customers devoted to the steaks served at Texas Roadhouse. The ribeye is always a solid option, and the chicken fried steak is also a more unique standout if you are looking for something more than your typical cut of beef. Traditional steak dinners are also popular, with The Motley Fool reporting the most widely ordered item being the 6-ounce sirloin. What do fans enjoy so much about the steaks from Texas Roadhouse? The in-store butcher shop adds a personal touch that allows customers to see the steaks in the cooler before they find their way to the grill, promising an added level of freshness to your meal. Fans also enjoy the lower prices, which may allow the restaurant some leeway for not offering a steak perhaps as widely beloved as the steaks from Longhorn Steakhouse. It is worth pointing out that while Texas Roadhouse is not everyone's first choice of steakhouse, it certainly isn't last on the list either. In addition to beef, 
Both restaurant chains have a wide array of menu items, including chicken and fish dishes and plenty of sides. Some of the best menu items at Texas Roadhouse are these more unique items, including the salmon. A large percentage of Texas Roadhouse regulars prefer the steak fries as their side dish of choice. And popular appetizer dishes include its fried pickles, a variety of salads, a cactus blossom which bears a striking resemblance to the blooming onion from Outback, and their jalapeno poppers, better known by their appetizing name of rattlesnake bites. Of course, Longhorn Steakhouse offers much more than just steak as well, with its menu including seafood, pork chop, and chicken options for entrees, though there seems to be more buzz for the accompanying menu items at Texas Roadhouse. You may fancy a nice glass of wine to pair with your steak, and in that situation, both Longhorn and Texas Roadhouse should suit you fine. But if you're looking for more variety, or perhaps something with a little more flair, then Texas Roadhouse is where you'll want to dine. The steakhouse chain features a menu filled with up to 15 varieties of their signature margarita and mixed cocktails in addition to wine and beer. A Texas Roadhouse location in Tucson, Arizona shared on Facebook that its top three margarita flavors were the mango, strawberry, and Kenny's Cool According to FSR Magazine, the latter is a mixed drink concocted by Kenny Chesney, which is a mixture of coconut rum and peach schnapps, lemonade, sweet and sour, and blue curacao. I hope to see you at a Texas Roadhouse soon to have a Kenny's Cooler or a Coastal Key Lime Margarita or whatever you want. Longhorn Steakhouse does sell different kinds of alcoholic beverages, including beer and margaritas, in addition to its wine menu. But when Texas Roadhouse advertises fishbowl-sized margaritas on its Facebook pages, there seems to be a clear choice when choosing which steakhouse to grab dinner at if you're looking to pair it with a fun drink. While both restaurants welcome families, the lively vibes at Texas Roadhouse might be a better choice if you were dining with kids, especially if someone in your party is celebrating a birthday. At Texas Roadhouse, the guest celebrating their birthday is invited to sit on a saddle that is brought to their table while the servers sing happy birthday. Sounds like a total nightmare scenario for some who would rather not draw attention to themselves, but it will sure make for a memorable experience, especially for the kids. Even if you are not celebrating a birthday, there will still be plenty of rowdy antics from the staff each night. According to Country Music Nation, around once per hour, the servers gather around the restaurant for a line dance. The Texas Roadhouse in Bear, Delaware celebrated its socially distanced return of the dance in 2020 on its Facebook account after a brief pause amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Both Longhorn Steakhouse and Texas Roadhouse are middle-of-the-road chains when it comes to steakhouses. They are not on the high end of the price range, but they're not the cheapest options you'll find either. That said, customers seem to agree that Texas Roadhouse offers a better value between the two, noting that the quality and the quantity of what you were served is not bad given the price. If you're ready for a good night of fun and partying, go to the Texas Roadhouse. They know how to do it right. According to a report from Harvard, despite the thin margins that may exist due to the lower menu prices, the high volume of foot traffic and strong advertising of its alcoholic drinks allow for Texas Roadhouse to continue to deliver food at a lower cost for the consumer. On the flip side, customers have pointed out that Longhorn Steakhouse is a tad on the high side given what you were being served. Despite the fact that diners seem to be in agreement that Longhorn serves a superior steak to Texas Roadhouse, reviewers on TripAdvisor say that the meals were a bit pricey. Looking at some of the steaks offered at each restaurant will also show the slight price advantage Texas Roadhouse has over Longhorn. A 12-ounce New York strip cost $22.99 at Texas Roadhouse and $23.49 at Longhorn Steakhouse. An 8-ounce filet at Texas Roadhouse costs $26.49, while at Longhorn, a 9-ounce will cost you slightly more for that extra ounce at $28.29. Of course, the best value when it comes to a steak dinner is to cook it yourself at home. But steaks can be a tricky meat to perfect, 
especially if you want to recreate a restaurant-quality meal. Rather than keep the keys to the city all to themselves, Longhorn Steakhouse has been on a mission for years to help its customers become their own steak master. Back in 2013, the restaurant chain launched a Grill Us hotline in time for the 4th of July holiday. The hotline, which was supervised by Longhorn's own grill masters, was rolled out to help home grillers with any questions they may have on how to prepare the perfect steak. According to PR Newswire, callers could inquire about any step in the process, from choosing the perfect steak in the store to how to reach the ideal grill temperature. The hotline grew in popularity over the years, and the Austin American Statesman reports that Longhorn brought back the service for Memorial Day and Labor Day, in addition to Independence Day. By sharing its expertise with customers, Longhorn not only helps to recreate the restaurant experience at home, but also emphasizes the fact that it truly knows how to make the perfect steak. The dinner rush is often when you will find more families and couples looking for a good steak dinner at both Longhorn and Texas Roadhouse. But if you want lunch, then your options are more limited. Texas Roadhouse is widely known for only being open for dinner hours during the week, with the exception of a select few locations. If you want lunch, you will have to wait until the weekend. This is because the company decided to limit its weekday hours to offer more of a work-life balance for its employees. In an interview with Forbes, founder and then-CEO Kent Taylor noted that the decision to remain closed during lunch hours was beneficial for the company and for employees. Texas Roadhouse doubled down on the twofold benefits, saying on its website that the managers have a more flexible lifestyle, and the business saves on expenses by not having to open locations in areas where businesses are looking for meals during their lunch breaks. So if you were looking for lunch during the week, Longhorn Steakhouse will be your go-to option between the two chains. Ultimately, determining which chain is better will come down to your personal preference. However, when it comes to which chain prepares the better steaks, the evidence appears to be in favor of Longhorn Steakhouse. Keep in mind that while steak is a key piece of the puzzle, there are other factors to consider, like price, atmosphere, and other menu items that complement the steak. When looking at those metrics, the restaurants seem to be evenly matched. Texas Roadhouse is a fun environment for the whole family, with fair pricing and a variety of food and drink items. Longhorn Steakhouse, on the other hand, has quieter, more romantic vibes with great steaks. The court of public opinion seems divided. Both Longhorn and Texas Roadhouse ranked in our top 10 national steakhouse chains, though Longhorn bested Texas Roadhouse by several spots on the list. You will likely have an enjoyable meal no matter which chain you choose. But if you had to pick based on steak alone, head on down to Longhorn Steakhouse first.